The term main character refers to a fighting game character associated most often with a specific fighting game player. And on paper, the main character is also thought of as the player's best character. Throughout the short but rich history of the FGC, certain players have become almost synonymous with certain fighting game characters, and be it tournament or casual setting, that tradition affected a major part of the FGC, which almost set a precedent for how matches were played. However, like anything that sees tenure, change is inevitable, and FGC traditions are not immune from it. Considering fighting games are predominantly played in a one-on-one -on -one format, factors such as respect, competitive edge, and of course pride play a huge deal on how matches are played, regardless of personal skill or history. Traditionally, when a player played a character he is known for, his opponent knows that on paper he is getting the best version of that player, which consequently set the tone for the set as a serious one as well as just showing a respect for the opposing player. He's waiting for oh, a blow, my gosh. He cornered himself. Ooh, and the punish. Is that going to be it's enough? Hellin'. It should be. Get out here. However, on the other hand, when a player selects a character that is not deemed their traditional main, it can mean multiple different things, though three reasons stand out the most. The first possible reason for a player not wanting to play his main character is one that historically has surfaced in the FGC and still does. It is a simple test to gauge how skilled is the opponent in front of you. Although it is often seen as disrespect, veterans in the FGC on occasion will pick their secondary or tertiary characters, often referred to as a sub-character, to get a measure of how good their opponent is. Uh, I'm doing it. Whatever. Bring out your main, chicken. This is my main. <laughs> Hold that. The second reason, and perhaps the most common one for a player to switch away from his main character, is the attempt to exploit a matchup, which is often referred to as something called counterpicking. It is the backdash on wake up, man. I don't know what Lavis can do about that. It is not applicable in every game, however, there are fighting games that have characters who on paper hold an advantage over another. It's a perfect, it's a perfect counterpick. Uh, Richard Tishi usually does the same thing. Yeah, the pick to uh, go straight to Chun Li. Therefore, players who may be less familiar or comfortable with their counterpick character, but understand how to exploit the specific matchup, will rely on the on paper advantage over the more comfortable pick of a main character. And although it seems sometimes as the quote unquote easy way out, it is a strategy nonetheless. This is, this is my Hugo, dog. Like, oh, go kill. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. You know what's funny? You know, like, you think you made this game, I'll give you the advantage. Like, you, th well, actually, you know what? I might be I proving no you. Honor. You know what? No, 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 no. You might say you have no honor. I might be proving that you did such a great job balancing this game when I beat your ass. I'm going to say every matchup is 5-5. Five, five. I know that. Oh, fair, man. It's, everybody's capable of this Easy. Game. Watch this light work, guys. Watch this light work. Light work. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Lastly, and the most interesting reason for players going away from their traditional main character has to do with what can best be described as lost confidence. It is not easily broken down into specifics, however, a player losing confidence in his character may derive from lackluster play, poor results, or even unfavorable balance changes to the character. It has been exemplified by many players in the past. However, one of the more notorious ones was Daigo Omohara's character carousel across the multiple versions of Street Fighter 4, as he experimented with multiple characters before landing on Evil Ryu to end his Street Fighter 4 career. A similar pattern followed Daigo in Street Fighter 5, as his Ryu simply proved to be not as efficient of a pick compared to past iterations of the character in previous Street Fighters, which eventually led the switch to Guile upon the character's release, with much more consistent results. The Tekken scene has also experienced this with the release of Tekken 7, as top players such as JDCR and Nii, who customarily picked the same one character in previous versions of Tekken. JDCR, who was an Armor King player in the more traditional 1v1 Tekken games, was left without his legacy character upon release, as Armor King was not included in Tekken 7's initial roster. However, as opposed to playing a familiar face he had played in the Tekken Tag games in Heihachi Mishima, JDCR elected to play Sergei Dragunov instead, citing that it's simply easier with regards to execution in tournament setting, especially considering Tekken 7's severe input delay during the initial launch of the game. Of course, the game is laggy, so I don't want to play Mishima. Ni, in a similar fashion, also cited Tekken 7's input delay, however his journey was much more arduous during the first competitive year of the game, as he simply could not find his footing with his traditional main character in Brian Fury, nor did he have any sort of consistency with regards to picking another character. You, you know, went through a period of losing to JDCR and having difficult times versus Sane and stuff and so on, but now you've kind of you know, you've been able to beat them this year. What what have you changed? Why are you able to win against them in the tournament now in the way you are? Um, have you changed some things last, about the way last you Last year yeah. is... A, input lag is a problem. Yeah, input lag and... Because... 
토너먼트 어 I I remember memory Jedisha and Saint Noroma many use grab yeah. many use grab but yeah. I can you couldn't escape. break them yeah, 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 I remember yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, so that time I say ah oh, infinite is a problem problem but many player don't believe in my uh talk yeah yeah so it is safe to say that perhaps in the early years of the FGC, switching to another character after making a name for oneself with another wasn't seen in the greatest of light, especially after experiencing adversity or struggling. However, as times change, so do the circumstances. The fighting game community has taken a part in esports, and with that come higher stakes and simply more on the line. And although grassroots values like counterpicking, which was deemed distasteful, and staying loyal to the character that brought you to the big dance was highly respected, those values were forced to see a change with the new age of fighting games. As fighting game fans who support players from all over the world, we always enjoy and celebrate their success and large victories no matter which character it is done with. However, the fundamental values still very much lie within the FGC, and whether a fan or not, there is a special somewhat honorable feeling when seeing a player sticking true to that one character they call their main character.